not Norman. Hero of the hunt. No, you are not. The Guardian Cessna 365 now 1500. We are heading for the hunt. Negative. Disregard that last transmission. Okay, you need to return to the Guardia. Negative, that was transmitted in error. Take your hand off the mic, Norman. We are going down. No, we are not. We can get a view. You want to try to land runway 13? Negative, everything's fine here. We're continuing as planned. That's it, Norman. I'm plugging out your intercom circuit breaker. Birds. What the deuce? Oh, shit balls. No. Fuck her. Rushing, where are you? Well done. I'm coming. Shut up, Norman. Shit. Stop the stopwatch. And up we go. Oh. When you... Oh, he's having a baby. He's, he's, he's lost. Just He's rocking back and forth. Look. I have to start the whole shot again now, the whole thing all over again, as I said tonight. 07020 knots, and I'm facing right into the window. New York helicopter terminal, and I can't remember the name of the fucking place, so now I have to go look it up. Hmm. Here we are in Manhattan heliport, and we're going to take off in this microlight. We're going to climb to the top of the building three times, come back, and then start, stop the stopwatch. So, where's my stopwatch? Bollocks. I've lost an engine. I've hit the I've hit the right prop on the runway. Just go down. Just touch it. There we go. Good. Oh wow. Am I alive? Oh Jesus Christ! Where's the runway? There it is. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gone. We're gone. That's what happens when you go below blue line speed in an engine failure. What is it? Hitch there, there you go. Top's coming up, hold it level. Is it gonna stall? Otherwise. Oh no! Don't do this to me! It's too late! It's too late! Just don't stall and go into the water! Oh my god! That is fuck! Adding power. And up we go. Oh I missed it! Oh, oh, this looks really bad. Brace for it. I've got to try and stop this before the end. No, try not. Do or do not. Oh, thank God. Yoda, you are so wise. Nothing more will I teach you today. At last, I'm going to steal an airplane. Yeah. Oh yeah. You okay? Yeah, can I have a look around? You can. Can I help you? Are these keys for assessors? There we go. Nice, simple start. In real life, when you're flying, you've got your life in your hands. So it's very, very important, obviously, to have the appropriate licensing, the appropriate training, including safety training, etc., etc. Whereas, when you're at home, in your flight simulator, there's no risk at all. Okay, she wouldn't even shake my hand at this point. It was going very, very badly and I had probably made a fool of myself. But then it dawned on me, the four magic words, I have a jet. How long will you fly with this ship? Well, you go around Wicklow a little bit. Oh no, but when we will change the plane, you know, for the private jet, what you told me, champagne. Oh yeah, uh, I lied. Hello everybody, and uh, today is a very, very special video. Uh, we're going to announce the winners of the shout out competition. This next channel is called Reaction Review, and I've got to say, uh, for an X-Plane channel, uh, this guy is putting in a lot of work. All right, I'm going to hit subscribe on his channel, and you should as well. <laughs> up again I'm way too high and I've got to do the whole shot all over again which is fucking fantastic recording sound no oh! where's rain where is king rain gone Bugger! this doesn't stop now I'll have to do this take all over again and I won't be happy I'll not be happy please stop please don't make me do this all over again it's late at night Please stop. We're driving it in a bit. Hold on, hold it up. Oh, right. that one up. And now I have to do the whole shot all over again. 
Brilliant. Fantastic. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Floaty, floaty landing. That was not a floaty, floaty landing. And I'm way off the runway and I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Just fantastic. That's just brilliant, that is. Okay, I can't seem to fly this at all. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I've bust the gene in it. Um, okay, I don't feel very comfortable looking at this at all. I think we need something that can handle the force, the G-forces that are applied. I sense much fear in you. Oh, God, he's back. I shouldn't have said force. How embarrassing. You know, the aircraft kept coming apart because it couldn't take the G-force. <laughs> You'll be laughing when I get this down without the force, Yoda. You are reckless. Maybe, but look what I'm going to fly. <laughs> Well, I'm too heavy. I need to drop those fuel tanks. Or two. See what you can do back there. <laughs> okay, it looks like I can, I can just about keep it. Oh, Use the force. oh God. Obi Wan is here as well. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, bloody hell. Target. Of course now I'm doing floaty floaty. This is just not gonna do. Okay, you're gonna have to take the flaps up and drop the lift. Go! Oh. Okay, 140 knots. Hopefully I'll stop by the end of the runway, but I'm not too sure. Now, that seems to have done it. So Yoda, what do you think? See through you, we can. That may be so, but the F-A-18 has a much higher G-force tolerance. How can this be? It's G-force, Yoda. Mm. Uh, it's nothing to do with your forces. Dangerous and disturbing this force. Look, let, let's be quick about this. There's the dark side of the force, your side of the force, and G-force. No. <sighs> we may also have a G-force, but nobody can find it. <laughs> Time for murder, death, kill. Bombs will actually drop. I've highlighted it for you. Oh, it's Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. How dare he interrupt my tutorial? Bombs away. This is the Pipe Belong, the front and Breiter formation to besprechen. Im Süden hat der Gegner Zossen genommen und stößt auf Stahnsdorf vor. Mit dem Angriff stein das, das alles in Ordnung kommt. Mein Führer. Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Yes, I don't like trains particularly. I don't like them, I just don't like trains. Must be something to do with this freak. <gasps> oh, this is brilliant. Oh, oh no, I didn't get the train itself. Cheeky bastard. If it's the last thing I do... Oh, brilliant, now my engine's dead. Okay, I'm gonna do a kamikaze. I'm gonna shoot the bejesus out of him, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna take the two of us out at the same time. You're going down, you bastard. Yes, I gotta get you now. This is just humiliating. There we go. Chop it all the power. Chop it all the power. Bollocks. Okay, it looks like we're gonna make it. Power off. It's gonna bounce really hard. Ooh, bit of a bounce. 
Bit of a bounce. Now it's not over yet. I've got to steer the aircraft and then reverse thrust. I'm using asymmetrical thrust again just to steer it. Don't go off the runway. I can't use reverses until I have it straight. Right, reverse. Oh, 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 bollock! That's what, that's, that's what that looks like. Brilliant, fantastic. Oh yeah, now I've had a car and it's crashed. Brilliant. That's you, whole thing, all over again. Fantastic, reverse thrust on. Lock. Yeah, brilliant. And that's what happens. That's... That's... That's what happens. Oh, I don't believe it. Why won't this work? Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. Now I have to do it. All over again. It's got all the cameras. And... Yeah, this is... This is... Just happiness. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Yeah, let it roll out. No, oh, Yoda, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so busy looking outside and ignore the instruments. Still looking to the horizon. Never hear that. I know, Yoda. All my attention was diverted to making a video. You did my words, not did you? I used reverse thrust with the props out of sync. I failed. The greatest teacher failure is... Oh, you're just peddling easy answers. Pass on what you have learned. I've done it. Success. Hooray. A bit of a bouncy bouncy there, but everything's fine. I've organized. It's all good. Okay, breaky, breaky, break. Oh, not too much breaking, not too much breaking. <laughs> I have it all under control. Nothing bad's going to happen. Everything's fine. This brings new meaning to skis. I'm pretty sure everyone's dead anyway. The aircraft is heavier on the ground. So. Okay, um, let's, let's just get it started up really, uh, really quickly, shall we? Let's just move on. Oh, by some miraculous miracle, I seem to have survived my egotistical madness. My legs badly damaged as I neglected. To read and understand section 5 of the Cessna Operating Handbook, page 5 dash wood label performance. Perhaps I could crawl. Huh? Oh, God. you again. Please. Oh, no. Is that you, Gentle Ben? Oh, thank God, Gentle Ben. Greetings. Greetings, fellow simmers. I hope you can all hear me. Greetings. I hope. I hope you had a good week. Uh, yes. We're back. It's another Sunday. Uh, we're in October now, can you believe it? Uh, October 10th, isn't it? October 10th, yes. So, yes, we are all back in in, 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 in Flight Simulator. <laughs> uh, now, we've got quite a few people with us uh, straight off the bat. Look at that. Uh, and those of you watching, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator with Gripper Sim today. We've got Solo uh, Club, uh, Copper Hat, Falcon. Uh, we have Skyhawk, Davo. We have uh, Evan Oven, Ovendor. Uh, we have Marvin Biggins, or Biggles, we have Bakerfly, we've got Florida Farfall, we've got Akai Lad, we've got Digit something behind, some, I can't see them because they're all bunched up. Angry Yarn, uh, Racing Green 7, welcome. Uh, Tiberia 62, welcome. Dead Picks, Danny Boy, welcome Danny Boy once again. Good to have you. Uh, and many others, but I will get to you all during the stream. Uh, God knows what Colonel Clink has planned for us. This is Colonel Clink's flight plan. Uh, it looks like he's flying the uh, the, the caravan. Uh, we've got a Cos Cosmo Logi, uh, very cleverly flying the new uh, the new Junkers, which is nice. Uh, and, and I'm watching the chat. Hello, everybody in the chat. Uh, in the chat, there we had Jedix there in uh, in in Twitch. Jedix. We've got USO. We've got uh, 
Ralph Copter 96 I think I haven't pronounced it correctly, do you feature? Uh, Mac is with us as well. Uh, Mac Chan McNugget. Uh, we got Jason as well. Welcome, Jason. And we have Davo, Johnny F, uh, Shuffle Shoes, very nice name. And at YouTube, on the side of YouTube, we have so far, I'm just reading the chat really. I know there's a lot more of you watching, but I'll just go into the chat because I can't mention you all. We've got Dead Picks, we've got Danny Boy again, and we have Dale Hoover, we've got Baker Fly, we've got Point Pithima Thomas, I just called you Thomas, that's correct, and Dale Hoover. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, now, I'm flying the, uh, uh, the Beach Baron. Uh, and of course, I chose a fancy livery. Uh, why wouldn't I choose a fancy livery? It looks pretty gnarly. Uh, I'm not uh, very okay with the beach bar, but that's okay. They're all pretty much the same. Nice livery. I don't know where I got that one. Is that a new standard livery? Very, very nice. That pleases me greatly. Uh, now, also, I've got some other little tidbits to make the stream a little bit more interesting. Let's hop the cockpit. Uh, da, 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 let's activate the screen here. There we go. So, yeah, okay. I'm going to start it up. I haven't done this for a while, this aircraft. Uh, so, yes, with the beach bar. But, uh, as you can see, my controls here, you can see them on the screen. But what I've done is i got another camera. Thanks to everyone who subscribes and who uh, becomes a member on YouTube or subscribes on Twitch, on Twitter, Twitch, Twitch, not Twitter, Twitch. So, if I activate that camera, if I activate, oh, it's already activated. Hmm. Uh, it's already activated, so you can see here. <laughs> so I can switch it off. Look. Boom, boom. And I can turn it around for the producer cam. So that's great. So uh, the I'm using the Bravo uh, Throttle Quadrant, which is very, very... Look at that. It's incredibly responsive. It's instant. Instant. Uh, very nice. So you can see what I'm doing with all the levers and all that kind of stuff. So I'm quite pleased with the Bravo Throttle. Uh, and you can also see what I'm doing with the control column. Again, uh, it's nothing to do with the Bravo control column but there you go got flaps here nice big chunky flaps oh you can't see the flaps but i can move the camera so you can see the flaps come on no 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 i've got to work on my cameras big chunky flaps you know see very nice uh, i haven't configured all the switches up here but the autopilot and stuff we'll, we'll we'll wing it shall we now none of the lights have lit up yet on this because uh you know we are um we haven't started the engines yet so let me have a quick read of the comments before we go on to start the engines. Uh, North European server, thank you, T-Feature. Uh, and if you're not too sure where we are, what we're doing, the moderators will be happy to help you uh, and support you on your on your crazy madness journey. Uh, where is my YouTube? I'm just trying to arrange my windows on the other screen. Uh, great. Okay, so we're all ready to go. Uh, Ian Pollard says, how do I get day and not night? Well, here's what you do, Ian. Hit escape button in the sim. Uh, oh, no, you don't have to do that. Sorry, what am I saying? Resume. So it's how finished. Go to the center menu. Go to the cloud. And up here, it has the time. I'm using live weather, so I can't change it. That's how you change the time. Look, we happy days. Uh, there's for Ian Pollard there. Okay, so let's start at the engine. I have no checklist. Oh, here comes someone. Uh, how do I... Where's Karen Clink? That'll be... That'll be Colonel Clink. Uh, what? 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 Why? How? Where? Why? Why does... There we go. Greetings, Colonel Clink. Greetings and salutations. Uh, can everyone hear Colonel Clink? I, I do not know. Can. They'll let how, us know. How are we this uh, Sunday, the 10th of October? Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. good. Uh, we're, 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 I think everyone's having a good time. Uh, ciao. Uh, ciao. Is it Ciao Main McNugget? It says yes, he can hear you. Jalex says yes, ah, he can fantastic. hear you. Fantastic. Uh, and everyone on YouTube seems to be able to hear you as well, but they'll let us know as well. Excellent. I'm Great. on YouTube. We're on YouTube. We're on YouTube and Twitch. Oh, dear. This is like yes. massive. Is it massive? I don't know. I, mm. I, I, I just thought it sounds good if I say massive. It is massive. It's yeah. huge. It's huge. It's huge. I'm yeah. just about to start. I was just explaining the camera I got. Oh. The controls. And for the do Let's have a look, folks, at the doggy, at the producer. The producer doesn't want to be left out, so I'll swing the camera oh, around. Oh, the producer. It got me there's the producer so there having a nap. Now, folks, the producer, uh, sometimes it go crazy. Now, this little thing the producer has been looking for and is not very happy. Uh, let me just show you this, if you can see. If I can move my hand. 
Yes. The producer has been looking for this for quite some time. And the producer has been very unhappy. So I'll give it back to the producer. There you go. Uh, and that's the noise you'll be hearing throughout the stream. So I leave it on the producer. Uh, I put, I'll go back to the producer. Oh, the producer's very angry at me. Uh, for stealing, for stealing, uh, for stealing a uh, producer toy. It's so that's like, very uh, displeasing. It's like, yeah, the producer was very unhappy. The producer called me in yesterday. Okay. Yeah, it's like, uh, um, apparently, like, the producer was unhappy that I um, may have dented the fuselage of this rare U-52 uh, last uh, um Sunday and uh, you know told me to be more reasonable with my flight plans and I said okay to the producer I will not do this again and you know it's like uh, it's a different flight plan it's less safe than last week like you know so we, we'll not, find out but nothing bad is going to happen nothing nothing bad is going to happen no. exactly no okay let's let us start the engine so yeah. what's the first thing we do when we start our engine to get our power so battery one and two there we go and all my sight techs and it's all lit up here as well so that's great you can see the gear here the gear light cool so uh that's that uh i know i shouldn't start the alternators i'm just i'm not using a checklist here folks we're just gonna get it started up uh, and then we can go back to the comments make sure your mix is fully rich you're not you're not using the checklist props that fully is rich. very that is very very irresponsible of you uh, only the sim, you know, only the sim. Nothing to press up here. Okay, that's fine. So all oh, the power's on, is that it? Okay, prime it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, magnetos. Yeah. Magnetos, that would be important to start the engine. So do you start the engine then? Oh, yes, it's the old-fashioned magnetos here. So great, that pleases me. Batteries, oh, that's all I need. So uh, it's my, fl oh, my flight plan is in. Great, I got my flight plan in, and that's all nice and easy done with the GPS. I will start the right engine first, or the left engine, sorry. Here we go. Make sure you have the CDI set to GPS, like, you know, otherwise you're going to go all over the place again. Oh, this is the beach barn. I can't open the window. Yeah, fuel has been switched off. I never mind the fuel. So I didn't so switch the fuel on, which is unwise. Uh, so we're going to switch on the engine again. See, I got to check your fuel is on, don't you? Yeah. There we go. That's the engine started up. Uh, the right engine. Right magneto onto both. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna uh, leisurely uh, taxi to. Um, oh, it's a grass runway. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting good in indications for the stream, which is nice. It's not all choppy. It's a little bit choppy here because we're all bunched up together. But uh, last week you had problems. Uh, but thanks to Colonel King, came down this week uh, to the studio and uh, just got rid of the Norton business. Norton was messing up my stream. So thank you to Colonel Clink. Uh, so let's taxi this and, and let's, uh, let's wing it as always. <laughs> uh, now let me set up my autopilot first, folks. Make sure I'm on CDI. Uh, where is the whole thing here, CDI? Okay, that's a lo uh, localizer one. It's CDI button to get onto the nav, the GPS. There we go. Very nice. Uh, transponder. Okay, fine. OBS. No, we don't need that. ADF DME, please. Uh, where's the DME? Where is onto DME in this one? Okay, we we'll do it in the way. Okay, that's all set. Uh, okay, just line up on the runway. No. How do you change, Angry Aaron says, how do you change the look of the name tags? Uh, yeah, so what I've done here, folks, is the, the, the name tags kind of, see the way they're different than yours. This is a add-on called, and I always forget, and it's called uh, Darnest Utility something. Anyway, I hit the backspace and declutter, see that? I, I want that for the stream, that's very useful. Uh, but it's called, anybody know what it's called? Uh, Daz Daz uh, Torab, I think it is Daz says, hey Gripper Sim, got my honeycomb throttle quadrant on order after watching your uh, review for it oh wow uh, great, 
I, I think I made a good choice. Uh, we, I think you made a good choice. Yeah. Because look, back in the day, they were either very, very expensive or very, very cheap, and they weren't really catered for flight simmers. There was no mainstream stuff for flight simmers. Uh, so it is the it is the only way really to go. Uh, happy days. Uh, let me just go for the chat here and see if anyone can remember that. That darn. I tell you what, I'm going to my. I'll find out. I'm going to go into. Uh, just to find out the tags for you before we take off. Let's see later. I'll see it here in my community folder. It is called. Yeah, here we go. UI mod. Go into flightsim.to and search for UI mod. Uh, read it uh, and you'll be able to get those tags uh, like mine. Happy enough? All good? Good. Now, let's fly. That's why we're here. And we can chat in the way. Okay. Uh, two current things. Crazy. God knows uh, what's going to happen now. The parking brake is always it's, hidden away. It's all very safe. There's nothing bad as long you don't use the right aircraft. Oh, right. Well, I'll have to wing it and just do my best. Yeah. Uh, flaps are up. I put the flaps down to approach for takeoff. Add a bit of power. Oh, I'm on the wrong power. <laughs> Power's over here. There we go. Come on. Mixers should be forward, and they are. Props forward. Good. This is my first time using this in anger. Uh, really, you know, since playing around with it for God knows how long. Uh, while I was, whilst I was uh, <coughs> doing the review, I played around with it quite a bit. But this is the real long flight I'm doing at the first. Uh, the first. Uh, how do I say? Anyway, the first flight. Now, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm setting my there. flaps to 20 degrees uh, according to the um, PH of the Cessna Operational Handbook uh, Flight Performance uh, Section 4 5. And uh, um, so nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, let me just see if it's grass on me. So let's make sure I'm on the actual runway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just grass. It's hard to see. Okay, straight ahead. <laughs> straight ahead, okay. Oh, flap, numbers. flap, flap, flap. Yeah, good. The numbers, yeah, the numbers. full power. We're going. We're off. You're off. off. We're, we're going. Oh, Jesus. God. I like oh, the sense of the engine. There's full power. Is. Oh, yeah. It's going right through me. Okay. Going right through you. So. Taking a little bit of weight off the nose wheel. Just a tad. You can see in the control column I'm very subtle. There we go. We're up. Get 10 degrees at least. That'll do. No use of the runway remaining. Gear. Oh. See, I have the gear here. Big clunky lever. Gear's coming up. So, power is... Full forward. Yeah, happy days. We're good. Flaps up. Airspeed is alive. Take a bit of power back. Okay. Sink the engines. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I know I won't have the proper power settings because I'm so far away. Positive rate of climb and everything. We, we First stage of flaps. Just a little bit back there. There we go. And flops nice coming up. Turn. Flop, flop, flop. I won't. I won't lean the mixture until I get above three thousand or above three thousand feet. What am I saying? Oh, they should have been leaned anyway. Leaning the mixture. Uh, we get on that magenta line. There we go. Oops. There is a uh, a button here to auto sync the props, but let's do it manually. Why not? So we're pretty much on track there now, folks. Boston Health greetings. Ikeo, please. Where are you? I could not load flight plan. Okay, we are at. Uh, let me just turn on the flight plan first. We're on the North European first of all. Okay, uh, where are we currently? We are at uh, Lima Foxtrot Yankee Sierra. Is that correct? Um, yeah, something like that. So for the moment, just put in Lima Foxtrot Yankee Sierra. We're going to uh, stop to a few, on a few places on the way there. So I'm going to go to 10,000 feet. Nice shuttle cruise. Trim, trim, trim. Oh, I'll use my trim wheel. Because now I have a trim wheel. Ooh, very nice. Now, let us have a look at the trim wheel on this and see how good that is. 
Yeah, that's moving exactly the same amount. See that? There's the trim wheel here, if you, if you can see it. So, I'm quite pleased with the trim wheel. It's working pretty good for me. I'm very happy with that. I better keep my eyes outside. 10,000 feet, and then we put the autopilot on. That should get us above the, uh, the mountains. Of course, I haven't got a lot of fuel. I've only got half tanks. Which is foolish. But there you go. Let's get the heading bug. Heading bug is here. Just press it down. Boom. And it'll give us... Oh, it should give us our current heading, but it's not. But, uh, with the Bravo, we can make sure we've got the heading. And use the little knob here. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. Excellent. I'm going to use my side tech for the horse bar. Oh, I don't really need it because it's all GPS, isn't it? So we're good. Now, I'm going to play with the autopilot, folks. I'm going to play with the autopilot on the actual uh, first our altitude. Uh, that's... Okay, altitude, 10,000 feet, please. Come on. Give me ten. Come on. There we go. We'll go ten thousand five hundred feet. Very nice. And we uh, have our heading. So let's put the all uh, heading and autopilot on. It's going to level off, but that's fine because they didn't set the autopilot properly to climb. So let's get our vertical speed VS uh, and change this to VS here. Get our vertical speed up to 500 feet a minute. Well, seven is fine. Uh, and there we go. We're on autopilot. Very nice. Very easy. Very straightforward. Let me thank all those people who are following and stuff because I've been kind of busy there. <coughs> uh, let us thank. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, the Silent Coyote. Silent Coyote subscribed with Prime. Uh, Silent uh, Coyote, thank you very much. That's great. Uh, great news. Um, and then we've got Mal John Wales has resubscribed Prime for 11 months. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mal John Wales. Uh, and the Silent Coyote. Very nice name, the Silent Coyote. Very good. I like it. Oh, let's get some eye candy. Uh, whilst I'm talking to people uh, on the stream. I'm going to make it over these hills, am I? I've been chatting to people in the past and I crash, Colonel Clink, as you well know. Yeah. Okay, looks like I'm, I'm okay. Don't, don't do that today, though. No, let's not do that today. Uh, also, The Bean. I missed you, The Bean. Subscribed on YouTube. Thank you very much, The, be uh, uh, the Bean. Uh, thank you very much. That all does help out. Uh, good. So, I'm looking happy. I'm, I'm, I would like some cockpit lights, please. So, let's have a look at some cockpit lights. There's the prop sync there. But it's not, it's not activated, so that's fine. Strobe's on. Beacon's on. Uh, if we put the floodlights on, put, oh, yeah, there we go, lots of lights. I can't move my head. Burp, 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 burp. Uh, and we're all golden. Now you got some lights. Uh, it looks like we got to climb a little bit more, folks. I'm going to switch uh, from heading. I'm going to switch from heading mode to nav mode, which is here. There we go. And it's going to take the left turn and intercept the magenta line. Now, I need to climb. Why am I descending? Vertical speed. Oh, well, it's gone to minus. I wonder why that happened. That's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's a little bit sloppy with the old autopilot there. A little bit know. sloppy. Are you fluffing it up? Uh, no, we just learned something. That's all. Well, I, I find uh, if you um, if you uh, change from the. Uh, um, vertical speed before you reach the altitude it may switch just the vertical speed out off like there might be a wee little bug there yeah i think because i went out to showcase view let's try that again folks go to showcase view I'm back in and see if it deactivated anything yeah when you go to showcase view it deactivates it oh yeah vertical speed goes to minus two thousand feet a minute well, that's not supposed to happen no that is not supposed to happen yeah, so that's a bit of a pain. Yeah. You know. Oh, however, if you are uh, at uh, um, 
whatchamacallit, uh, uh, um, if you climbed about 10,000 feet or so, you should be fine for the first leg. Now, there's a wee bit, there's a wee bit of a distance there, like, you know, so, um, so I thought, like, this time the first leg, like, you know, I keep simple. Like it's about 50, 50 miles to uh, the destination, and uh, uh, I told like you know for everybody to settle in, you, you know what I mean? Yes. Now, remember if you fly in an aspirated engine, right? It's like uh, you start off at altitude, like at four thousand odd feet, right? So and you're climbing to ten thousand. So you want to lean the mixtures may, on the ground. You may have to lean the BGs out of your uh, mixture. On the ground, yeah, before you can take off. Because you're losing power then, of course. Yeah. Just a wee bit. Not too much. Uh, I Dan Solo says, uh, is this a PC flight plan only? Yes. Well, yeah, I don't think you can load the flight plans of the Xbox. But if you're on the North European server, let me give you uh, uh, a rough indication where we are. So, uh, what's... We're in the Pyrenees, okay? Uh, so, if you go to, at, at least if you go to, uh, on your map when you're logging on to the Xbox, uh, Lima, Foxtrot, Yankee, Sierra, okay? You see a bunch of airplanes about 10 miles from there, or so. No. Be there, is, now. there is one further which we can do, right? So, if you are flying on the Xbox, right, and you have an autopilot in your plane, it's like you can go um, to. Um, hang on a second, let me dig this out here. I have it written down here somewhere. Uh, if I could find a piece of paper. Flying next to me. There's someone above me somewhere. I can hear it in the headset, folks. Uh, we're going to hop out down a second. It's really struggling to get up here. Has the gear come down? No. No, the gear hasn't come down. I'm really struggling to get. It's full of everything here. No, that's not good. Yeah, it just wasn't very well leaned, is what happened there. Because I pushed it forward a little bit too much. It's going down. It's going up. Seven. Seven. Better there is the best. Better there. Forward. Huh? I'm just leading the props here just to get some extra power. Yeah. So we're pushed fully forward for some reason. Uh, on the sim. Coming out. It looks like at the beach barn at least. Hopping out. On, look at this. Showcase view. All right. Then back in. It resets certainly the vertical speed and when you're in a climb. Has it changed my mixture or was that me? There we go. Let's see. Seven. There. I'm looking. I'm looking here, folks. Looking here. Now, uh, let me just have a look at the range here. We got a bit to go. Ooh. We're coming up now to. Okay, so if you're looking for us, uh, let me put it in here. Arriving. I'm just going to type it in to the. YouTube first. We're arriving at Lima, Foxtrot, Charlie Bravo. Right, that's gone into YouTube. So if you go onto the North European server, you'll see a whole lot of aircraft coming in there. Uh, it should be Xbox and PC, as far as I'm aware. Um, you know, it's cross platform, isn't it, current click? Well, and it is, uh, because we have Xbox people with be. us it all the time. Be. I put that in the other chat there. That's where we're starting. I put it into the chat for Twitch. So we're arriving there. We're very high. And this is probably one of your little tricks, Click. No. Is it? No, no, no. No tricks. No tricks. Okay, so... Um, uh, Sonny Wolf. So if you're, if, you, if you're on an Xbox, right? And you can't load the fly plan, right? So you can put... You can put it in in your uh, G uh, in your um, flight computer in your GPS thing with Bob, right? So our uh, track is we starting off in um, 
Lima, Foxtrot, Yankos, Yankee Sierra. And then from there we're flying to Lima, Foxtrot, Juliet, November. And then we're going to Lima, Foxtrot, Charlie, Bravo. And the final destination, not to be mistaken with the movie, but similar, it's uh, Lima, Foxtrot, India, Papa. Excellent. Uh, I put the flight plan in. Oops, sorry, folks. Sorry, I was assuming we're not in a different window. Uh, yeah, Deep Features put that in again for everybody so they can see it. Oh, fantastic. And on YouTube, is everybody happy? YouTube, let me have a look and I scroll back at the old comments. Sometimes I miss them. Sorry, folks, because I'm so busy. Uh, uh, Deadpix says, everybody keeps popping out on me. I don't know why that is. I'm getting good indications for the stream anyway. How do I display name tag? Okay, to answer that. Okay, you please, where are you? And I sent that message there. That was Boston Elf. Boston Elf, I see you. It's okay, he says. I see you. Just a moment. Excellent. Boston Elf is going to join us. And then he says later on, he says, thanks. Uh, there's Death Picks there. He's helping him out as well. Uh, Mark Darko's here. Um, uh, Beezy's with us. Beezy's back. Boston Elf. Fuel select. I've only got half tanks. And I've got 15 gallons aside now, looks like. Uh, not very wise. Boston Elf, learned too much. Now, you're much better. Oh, leaned too much. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I gotta play around with the leaning and that. Uh, what about your head tracker? Oh, yeah. Uh, Holger Newman, what about the head tracker? Yeah, I. See, I got a. Per I, yeah, see, I got this, and it was a little bit of a luxury. Now, the, all the things for all the subscriber support and all that, it's great. Uh, but I, it's not. It's not like I could bought this straight out, out of the, you know, out of that, because it's not. It's like not a lot, uh, because we have, we're only building an audience, really. I think so. But it's building. But it helped me certainly with this. So I think I should get a head tracker. Uh, yes, I should, because it's all about the eye candy current clink. And you'll see, you know, it looks really cool with the head yeah. tracker uh, making videos as well. Oh, okay. So I, I just haven't bought it yet. I'm just waiting to get some. You know, they're like a hot two. You know, they're how much are they? See, let me have a look here. When do I have time? The head trackers cost. Uh, see, I'm thinking of Track IR. Yeah. There's other types out there now. So, is Track IR the best one you can get, folks? Let me know if you have one. Uh, there's other ones that follow your eyes. I tried one of those. Didn't really work very well. But head trackers, yes, because so if I zoom, I hit move my head, you can see, you know, rather than me having to use the mouse wheel to zoom in and stuff like that. Let's get some eye candy. Uh, there, it's, I, I heard someone right beside me, and that's Racing Green 7. We've got Sonny Wolf down below there. Welcome, Sonny Wolf and Racing Green. We've got Falcon there. Uh, I can see uh, PF Auto way off in the distance. PF Auto, welcome. I can see Dead Pix as well. I can see Danny Boy. I can see ARH62 CDN. I can see Deep Future. Davo and USO. And then Racing Green just popped in again there. And Falcon actually popped in. Uh, you've got uh, No Not A Lot with us as well. It sounds like a horse race. And it's No Not A Lot. Uh, second place, seven furlongs to go. Racing Green and Sunny Wolf. It's like horses. You know, it's like horse names on the races, I think. I know I'm, I'm going very fast and I'm burning all my fuel you know I'm burning a lot of fuel I'd say what the deuce has gone on here yeah you see I went out and came back in again and it's deactivated the altitude you know it's deactivated the altitude don't do that yeah I gotta do some eye candy now it's pitching up to get back up to altitude and it nearly stalled oh so that's very naughty yeah, so it's a book I have never seen. Maybe it's just this aircraft. It's like, I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me see. Like, uh, if I go to the outside world, right? If my autopilot deactivates, so I go into showcase and I'm gonna go around and I look at myself. Where's my plane? Maybe I have to look down. Um, and uh, I go back into the cockpit, and my autopilot is still enabled. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's just the beach it's baron, I would yeah. imagine. It's just the beach baron. 
I haven't flown this for quite a while. Oh, there's a bit of bumpiness there. Uh, we have... Uh, which, which, which is to be expected, flying over the mountains. Eight minutes to go. Flying over the mountains. So it is, indeed. We are, well, I am 20 odd miles away, uh, so, and I have an ETA of 10 minutes. I've got eight minutes. You have eight minutes. Are you awesome? I'm, I'm going very fuel. fast. You're now. Uh, okay, so uh, pool pool hall shark. Uh, welcome, by the way, pool hall shark. Uh, I'd imagine you're quite good at pool. And you're a bit of a shark at pool in the hall. That's what I imagine. <laughs> anyway, hi folks. He says uh, they say, uh, do I have to add Gripperson to my friends to be able to join? Haven't done this before. Okay, so pool hall. Uh, first of all, all you need to do uh, is. Start up Microsoft Flight Sim. Have a copy of Microsoft Flight Sim, obviously. Right. Uh, in the menus at the top or right hand corner where you have your login, make sure you're on the North European server. And all you do is I will twitch I would twitch and Instagram and on the Discord. Let me give you an invite for the Discord. And I'll put it on Discord as well to, to what the flight plan is. And at least you have an idea of where we're starting if you're not uh, on the PC. Because on the PC you can load the flight plan in like I have here and it's all very handy. Uh, and you just follow us, you'll see us there on the map. Thank you, Deadpix is helping out, great. So Deadpix is gonna help out pool, uh, pool Hall Shark there. So that's great. Uh, and it's, it's quite straightforward, but do join us. Um, did I miss, did I miss, uh, no I didn't. Uh, Martin, that's just subscribed 13 minutes ago. Martin, thank you very much and welcome to the Mantis. Uh, right, so this is going to be dodgy. I can tell by Colonel Clank's accent, folks, the way he's talking, by the very nature of his voice. It's not dodgy. That this it's is going like to be very, dodgy as hell. It's a very easy airstrip to land at. It's going to be really tough. Very easy. Yeah. Very he's easy. Trying to make, he's trying to make me crash all the time. Um, okay, well, but let's uh, have a look. No, the, the producer is just kind of producer's just kind of taking it easy. I'll just give you the producer cam for the moment. The, producer, the producer's just having a bit of a snooze. I gave the producer the toy back. Just looked at me to go, how dare you? Uh, and there, there you go. So, <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, what are, where am I now? So 6.6. .6. Oh, a little bit out of, a little bit out there. My data, so it doesn't matter. I'm just leaning my mix just a little bit. I know, 2300 RPM. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, everything's good. We've got. We have uh, five minutes to go. Now, how, how high is that airport? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to look it up on Navigraph. Now, I've got to load it. I should have had it loaded before. Graph charts and here we go. Uh, we want oh 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 we want uh Lima Fox Charlie Bravo may not have much information on it. What is it? Uh... Elevation uh, two thousand feet. So oh. we're gonna start descending. 2,000 feet, is that all? Yeah. Mm, that makes it look a lot higher. So let's descend. Uh, let's it's start descending. A, it's in a belly. Let's start descending. Autopilot off. Oh, we'll leave the autopilot on maybe and just change our vertical speed. Uh, let's select our altitude first. Come on. Oh, I have to switch to altitude here. There we go. Uh, let's go down to... Let's get it descending first of all. Vertical speed here. And vertical speed down to uh thousand feet a minute. Let's burst the air eardrums. Oh, there's people waiting for us at the airfield. I I, I see let's, let's Davo is very feet a minute. He's flying the Viego. The Vago? The Viego. Viego? Vago? The oh the Virgo, yeah, the Vertigo. Vertigo, that one, yeah. I heard a bing bing. I heard a bing bing. I heard a bing bing. It was a bing bing. Uh, just Butter TX just followed. Is that Just Butter Texas? Just Butter? 
just butter from Texas. TX. I, I, don't think, I don't think in Texas they do just butter. Well, they butter land. They land very well, I would say. And the butter means landing very, very well. Ah. I would guess. That's my guess. Uh, that is my absolute guess. So let's scroll down here and just make sure I have them. Skyhooks, give me loads of messages. Ah, damn park cut. Oh, you got a park cut. Interesting. Ah, okay. Uh, sorry, I missed some of your there on Twitter, some of your comments there. Uh, on Twitch, I keep saying Twitter. On Twitch, uh, Draz, uh, Draz says, you really need to make sure your room isn't too bright when using track IR. Uh, it affects the infrared connection. Yeah, that could be a problem for me because I got these big key lights. So you can see my, you can see my face. Uh, and of course the producer as well now. So I'll have to, you know, but the track IR is saying is great for this. That's what they're saying. So that's good. Let's have a look at YouTube comments there as we're coming down. And uh, we're going to go overhead now, so I'm going to have to concentrate. Holger Newman is saying, I'm using OpenTrack with uh, a PS3 camera and an active device with three IR LEDs mounted on my headset. Altogether, I paid 50 euros. Uh, OpenTrack is free software, uh, as far as I know. Okay, configuration is easy. Uh, I have one hour done. One hour and done. Okay, great. Yeah, I'd have to put some thought into that. Okay, we're coming very close. I am really not descending. Uh, I might have to do a few circles. Uh, and that was... Uh, is it Dylan? Dylan Speed 752 followed. Dylan, welcome to the Mandus. So I'm going to take a lot of power off here. Uh, I think I'll take the autopilot off. The great thing, by the way, you probably, if you watch my, my review, I have side tech over here as well. Can you, no, you can't see it. So let's leave the producer a bit. See, see the side tick over here? So if I can switch use the autopilot here. So if I switch it off here, it also switches off on the Bravo, which is great. So you get no trouble, in, well, is what I'm saying. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it there. And then there anyway. I want you to see the control column as well. It's tricky business. Here we go. That's the best I can do for the minute. Okay. I made it All really. Pilot. I made it really easy. How can you say it's tricky business? We'll see now when I when I see the airfield. <laughs> we we will see. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, now high mountain flying. You know. Someone was saying to me, you should have the mixtures rich in a descent. That doesn't make sense to me. You know, put them fully rich on a descent current thing does not make sense. Because the engine will no, possibly should, cut out if you're too high. You should have the so, mixture to uh, uh, best performance. But this is what I'm thinking. And I, yep. and I was kind of going, what, what if you're at 15,000 feet? So you don't you put those forward, you're going to, you know. But you if you're below 10, it's not going to... You don't want the which mixture fully rich uh, uh, below 3,500. This is it, you know. Uh, this is it. So that was that's my that's my point. But uh, at high altitude flying, uh, yeah, for best performance, you know, that's that would be the logic. So I'm gonna take a. It's in this valley. I can't quite see it here. Let me just hop out here so you can see. Right. There it is. You There's see. the runway. The thing is, like, you know, uh, it's like you should have looked at the topography, like, you know, when you're flying in, like, you know, you see where the airfield is, and there's a really easy way in. Yeah, I'm doing that now, I'm going to turn down the valley. Ah, Jesus, you're, you're, you're completely off the wagon there. Why? It's like, if you, if you keep to the left, like, right, you see on your map, there's a nice little valley, like, you know, you're flying through it, you descend through there, happy days. And then you're coming right onto the runway. Well, that's what I'm doing. Ah, no, you're doing it all wrong. Oh, I'm, I'm, I see it now. So, yes, I see you have it all planned in. I didn't see that because I had it zoomed right out. Yeah, I see what you have there. Very nice. You know. Uh, and that would have been worked with the autopilot and everything. Okay. A little bit too high. Let's put the gear down. Big, nice, clunky gear lever. Let's create some drag. First stage of flaps. Uh, I think 100 knots would be sufficient on this. I can hear the gear coming down. 
it with the props now. Oh, I'm going way too fast here. See, simple approach. I can know you're coming down. Two stages of laps. Happy days. Decluttering. Now it's grass as well. Good 85 knots, it's quite. Maybe 90 knots would be better speed. Okay, feet on rudder pedals. 90 knots, I want. I just see dirt. Uh, 90 knots, please. I, I'm looking for the speed. I'm looking here. I'm going to be too slow. Lower the nose in that power bit. Look at the trees. I love the way you could hear the sound of the flaps. I want to get an early touchdown. Now well, this isn't too bad. Not all the power off because it does take a while to... I told you it's not too bad. Oh, I forgot to record the landing blast. Oh, well. Oh, 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 here we go. All the power's off. Nice, gentle touchdown. Yeah, you, did, you didn't do too bad squeal. there now, I have to say. Breaky, breaky, break, break. Flaps coming up, dump that lift. And I'm going to take off from here. And let's put the brakes on and watch everybody else come into land. Uh, boom. Brakes, brakes, brakes. First park brake. Give me the parking brake. Damn your eyes. Ah. There we go. Up outside. Put the tags on. Oh, we've got Icarus is back with us. Fallen up. 89 is with us. Sunny Wolf there is coming on final. Let me speed up my camera. Very nice, Colonel Kick. Uh, very interesting. Uh, uh, Killer Hansy's with us. Welcome, Killer. Welcome. Copper Hat is with us. There's two here. I can't see them yet. So. Sunny Wolf is coming in on final. Uh, oh, we've got loads coming the other way. Yeah, that is a proper way to come in. PF Auto, welcome. Icarus Let's is there as well. It's like the said. only way to come in. Like, you know, if you're coming in that way, like, it's so dead easy. Yeah, I know. I know. There's two C208s there coming in. But they don't have labels for some reason. Right, Very so nice, everybody. Their steerman's coming in on the DA62. Uh, we've got Orpheus this week, aren't we? I know, he wasn't there last week either. Not but you, you see, he has a new date, I suppose. Oh, he's a date. Does he have yeah. a... He has a date. Yeah. Okay, the, the, if, he's, if he's fresh into a relationship now, they won't yeah. like that. Sonny Wolf is coming in. With steerman behind him, the DA62... Uh, uh, Sunny Wolf is the B58 as well. Uh, it looks pretty good, Sunny. Looks pretty. Don't clip any so. trees. We're watching you. Uh, very nice. I know it looks like he doesn't have any wheels down, no, but you know Microsoft. It's very nice. Now this is this is the warm-up one, like right. So the next one might be a, a, a tad trickier. A tad, not oh, not much. Yes. Just a tad. No, but the trickiest part Ooh. is now. To get out of this blooming valley, right? Okay. You know, we are in a valley, so we were 10,000 feet up because not to hit the bloody mountain, right? And now we have to come out the valley, like, right? No. If you Welcome follow, down. if you follow the flight plan, if you follow the flight plan, there is there is an easy-ish way for a certain amount of time, but don't get food. Okay. Uh, after the valley, well, I mean, oh, everything. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do what I normally do and not plan anything on the simulator. Just, uh, just, yes. just, so, just ring it. So, just the, de you know. the, the, the what I'm doing. First of all, uh, the bad things I'm doing. I haven't checked my fuel. Uh, oh, okay. Let's just play with the fuel then, shall we? Just to make it make it a bit more interesting. So, uh, oh, let's just. Oh, there's loads of fuel. Uh, uh, okay, well, that's gonna happen. There we go. So we'll see what we go with that amount of fuel for the rest of the stream. And if it cuts out, I'll not know what to do. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, yeah, that's what happens. So I'm not using all the runway. Haven't checked my fuel. Uh, very naughty. Uh, and we'll go, I suppose, Colonel Clink, for the next leg. Yeah, absolutely. It's Let's like there's no, there's no time uh, then. Like the present. No, the present, yeah. Like the present. Okay. So I put the power in, brakes are on, and let her spool up. Uh, we are going to go, folks. So I'm just going to go straight ahead. Let's see what happens. Brakes off. 
Let's bring Kalyan back. And let's Maximum go. Maximum power. Uh, I got my camera on the controls. Uh -huh. And off we go. And we are rolling. I'm going to do a rolling start. We are rolling. Rolling start. Airspeed is alive. That's and good. we have rotating speed. And off we go, off the ground. Oh, the right gear up. Oh, I have a nice gear lever here now. Clunk. First stage of flaps. Let's see what happens here. Trim it, trim it, trim, trim. All the flaps are up. Gears up. Aircraft's clean. No flaps. Uh, Crop comes back. Flaps. Could be another one. I'm going the wrong way. I'll just do a circle here. Uh -huh. For Either circle. way, you're going to go the wrong way, like you're not taking off. Doesn't matter which direction you're going to go. You're going to go happens. the wrong way. We're going to see what happens, folks. We will see. Okay, so it's about a heading of 120, uh, just by looking at that. Oh, that's fine. We get above that. A lot of power in this airplane. 2,800 feet. I'm going to leave full power on. I wonder if I just lean the mix a bit. Will I get a few bit, bit more out of it? Yes, I'm leaning the mixtures a bit. Mm. Quite a bit, actually. Oh, 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 let's not steer into the hill when I'm doing that. I'm going to get above a current leg. Oh, yeah, no, that's, 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 that's no problem. You know, as I tell you, nothing bad is going to happen. Okay, we are now past five six. Uh, the levers back a bit here. Yeah, I'm getting a few more. Oh 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 no 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 no. There we go. Uh, that's leaned quite nicely. Uh, we are above the above the hill. Autopilot time, folks. Why is the GPS doing that? I'll tell you why. It's horsepower. Now, am I going the right way, Colonel Clink? Huh? Am I going back the way we came here, or what I'm, heading are you? Well, I'm I'm just heading uh, in a way so that I don't get uh, into the hills. So I'm just climbing drastically at the moment, and I'm no, not no, on no, the right. fly pass at all at the moment. Neither am I. I just haven't got the magenta line because I missed that waypoint, so that's quite annoying. So I gotta go to the next waypoint, so uh, give me the next waypoint, darn you. Uh, I'll just go so. back to where everyone is for the moment. Autopilot, please. Level off and nav. Yeah, you've got great details. I didn't realize that on the flight plan. You've got everything marked out there and I should have followed that. Let's just see where that takes us. Thirty degree intercept. So it's for me, it's only now that I turn back onto the fly paths, really. What's the director doing? Okay. Okay, I'm following it now again. I just want to see what how what happens, folks. Let's have a look at the comments. What is the director up to? The director has his head in the bin, Colonel Clink. What? The director has their head in the bin. Oh, uh, I what told I told the director not to do this. <laughs> I, I'm in a very important part of the flight I, now. I, I explicitly, I explicitly told the director not to do this. This is just so the inappropriate. The director is getting to be a little bit kind of restless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so following the autopilot. And let's so see what that brings us. I just have to start pulling the prop back to get it back to 2000 RPM. 
Yes, I see. I did not follow the flight plan. Let's follow it. It's bringing us over to the airport again, but let's just see. It didn't quite... I thought I went the wrong way. Now, I'm flying along very fast. Uh, let me see if I can get some more. Let's just take a little bit of power back. Just gonna go now and change the rate of ascent. Yeah. I think now we're entering the scenic part of the route. Okay. I think, Let's... I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, now I'm back on track. Okay, so I see what you've done. So what altitude would you want to, are you, have you put all the waypoints in the valley, deep in the valley? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I would like to send a bit, maybe. It's maybe. like... You know, it's like there's a bit of valley flying if you like to do this, like, you know, there's absolutely no problem at all. Let's descend a little bit. Let's go to far, but if you do valley flying, I, I suggest you have a look at the topographic map. For the most part, back at the controls. Uh, let's descend. So what I'm doing here, folks, is I want to get the vertical speed. Oh, that's that's on that's on uh, interesting. I want the vertical down speed. Oh, I might just fly it manually. I'm missing all the nice, uh, the nice waypoints. So I think I'll come down a little bit. Let's just zoom in a little tad. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, autopilot's coming off. Let's get the doggy cat. What? Oh, look! I can't get off my seat now. And her director. Is wrecking the place. Thought about it off. Flying it like I stole it. Uh, what well, I'll tell you what I will do, I'll put the autopilot back on when we're low and I'll just use the heading. Okay, I'm quite bumpy. I'm over speeding, of course. Very scenic, folks. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, where next. The wolf says <coughs> uh, we are going next to. Oh God, I'm afraid I'll have to concentrate on my flying. Moderators will help you there. So this is quite scenic. Now I'm going to put the autopilot back on uh, whatever altitude I'm at, and we're just going to use the heading book to steer for us. Let's make sure we got the heading book set up. The only thing with the little knob on the Bravo throttle, you need a little bit of tip X there to tell you exactly, exactly what you're, you yeah. know, what you're pointing at. Was it the heading or is it the altitude, etc.? Yeah. Do a big U-turn here, folks. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's not hit the hill. That would be bad. Uh, passengers at this point be deeply concerned there we go uh, let's get our heading book on so I can chat and look at the, look at the uh, let's trim it up here altimeter no that's integrated our speed I don't want that put a bottle on let's give me the heading I think this is best flown without the autopilot. Let's trim up a little bit. It's incredible to think those buildings are actually there. 
in the real world. So that must be some sort of skiing resort there. Uh, I can see Akai Lad there. He's in the vertigo. He's gonna fly past. So He's gonna what, be there what, first. What altitude are you at? 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet. Okay. What waypoint are you at? I am. Um, oh, yes, I see that hill now. I knew you had something planned. Foot bar. Foot props. The producer's looking at me very displeased. Now, this is a Death Valley, Colonel Clink. No. Will I get out of this Death Valley? Well, you know how to get out of it. Just if go in circles. Yeah. Let's see what happens if I go straight on. <laughs> now, I'm at 20 degrees, folks. Look at that. I'm pitching up 20 degrees. But the horizon looks like it's here. Look at my speed. So, uh, don't... No. You see, I want to turn... You see, see this, this is the Death Valley. Death Valley, I'm turning around because I'm pitching up and I'm going to stall. So I'm going to go back down the valley. I'm going to do a few orbits. So I won't die in the Death Valley. Now I'm building up a bit of speed. Very, very dodgy. There we go. Now I can climb. So you didn't get me there, Colonel Clink. No. But you just have to do a few circuits there. That's all. Yeah. So you can see that illusion, folks, of it looks visually like I'm level, but it's not. It's the mountains. The horizon is the horizon is way below the mountains. And that's why people die in the mountains. No, you know, there, is, there, was a, there was a way out to the left. There was a way out to the left, like, you know, where you could go. Uh, Cartel, welcome. And Dan Summers, welcome. Sorry, Colonel Clint, go ahead. Sure. And Dice, Dice and Speed, also welcome. And Just Butter. Welcome as well. So go ahead, Colonel Clay. So there was a way out to the left where, where you wouldn't, where, where you had more time to climb, right? So at 10 degrees, you just about make it over the hills. Like, you know, you get off the fly pass, right? But uh, uh, you, you, you have a way out. Yeah. If I left it too long, I would, if I turn, I turned at the very last possible moment. Yeah. If I kept going straight at one point, I would have been, it's too late. I couldn't turn around. Yeah, there would be no room been, left. You would have it's been narrower yeah. and narrower. And it would have been an absolute disaster. Uh, it would have been terrible. Uh, that is uh, Ellie Jean and uh, Goof Fair uh, has just followed and T. TIC Bla Gaming, welcome. I'm trying to pronounce the names. Forgive me, folks. Uh, a new follower then is Goof then. Uh, they're coming thick and fast tonight, folks. I'm delighted uh, you're following and I'm delighted you're interested uh, to see what terrible trouble Colonel Clink gets me into. <laughs> or us, all of us flying together, actually. North European server every Sunday, 2100 hours, Irish UK time, local. Yep. Uh, I have to give an invitation for the Discord. Now we're back on track and I'm still alive. Oh, we're going to pass that lovely... Uh, we're coming up to that li nice landmark. Yeah, That's an there's observatory. The, there's the observatory there on top of the mountains. I think we'll be doing a bit of eye candy there, folks. Yeah. The autopilot is not doing what I want, is it? Oh, no, it is. 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 The poor old producer is the producer is concerned because I'm, as far as the producer is concerned, I am kind of talking to myself in, in the producer's eyes. <laughs> Just looking at me. <laughs> oh, it's a dog's life. Here we come. <laughs> Observatory. That, that, is that a uh, point of interest? Yes, it is. Let's slow down a little bit here, folks. Let's slow down a little bit and get a look at this observatory. Do you know the name of it? Um, some French name. Is it a new one or an old one? I wonder. It must be quite oh, old. No, Thank you, Deep Future, for putting no, Discord is, invite up there. It is there for a while. I can't. Oops, pardon me. I can't remember uh, the name of it. Like, I can't pronounce it. Let's put it's it that way. almost 10,000 feet. Well, they haven't found any aliens yet. 
No, not yet. It's called the Fermi Paradox, is that correct? The Fermi Paradox? Uh, is basically the Fermi Paradox is because I look at this on YouTube I know I don't watch EastEnders any nonsense uh, except for anyway uh, the Fermi Paradox is where they've done the maths of all the stars uh, and there's this equation called the Drake Equation and uh, he measures all the stuff like the Goldilocks zone and all basically the chances are of, of the there's billions and billions of suns stars and there's billions and billions of planets around those stars. So they, they kind of have this Drake equation where what are the chances of life happening statistically? Uh, and according to the Drake equation, is it's very likely. So they're looking for this, the, all the telescopes. They're looking to see, is, are, the, are the planets in the Goldilocks zone? Uh, does it have water on it? Because they can tell by all the colors and stuff. And they're saying, okay, so there must be life out there. Even if it's an infinitesimally small percentage, it's definitely to be some sort of life over there so out there so what they say is the the fermi paradox is we can't see any and there should be so it's a paradox or maybe we're the first uh yeah yeah so interesting uh, i would say curtain clink if there was aliens out there okay yeah they don't want us to know that that they're there oh no they're probably we're gonna too. go they, they, they probably came looking and says, "Oh Jesus Christ, them feckers like, and oh, I don't want to have anything to do with them." They're, they're crazy. What? Yeah. So they've probably gone. Ah, no, no. We, we'll kind of, we'll, we'll kind of, uh, we'll, we'll shield ourselves from them. Absolutely. Uh, so they won't find us because we, we couldn't have these humans. They'd be the trash of the galaxy. Yeah. Do you know? It's like humans. Oh God. Like, and yeah. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Would be the trash of the galaxy so i would say that if there is intelligent life out there they're kind of going yeah we'll give them a few more million years if they make it we think they probably won't make it because probably blow up yeah because you know china taiwan and america and russia and all our governments are crazy if you think about it really do you know with all the nukes and stuff uh yeah why do governments have to compete? I never understand it. So there's the observatory. Yep. Uh, that's pretty damn cool from here, folks. Uh, I don't know if they're looking for aliens specifically, but they're definitely all looking for planets. Something. Voyager, incidentally. Uh, the Voyagers went through outside the solar system. And they found, they discovered there's a shitload of radiation radiation outside of the Spear of the Sun. Like a lot. Uh, so I heard. So there's something. The sun's protecting us from something. Some sort of radiation. Yeah, cosmic radiation, like I think cosmic, it's called. Cosmic radiation, it's called, yeah. Uh, there's the solar okay. radiation, and you have the cosmic radiation, and, uh, and there's the interstellar radiation. It's yeah. like, it's crazy. So, there you go. The Fermi Paradox. Now, my GPS is telling me I'm, I'm not... Um, am I going the wrong way now again? No, no, no. Just let the GPS do its thing. Like, you know, it's like I, I, I did a nice circle around the uh, um, observatory there. So, like, you know, if you just let the GPS do its thing, like, you know, it, it brings you back on track. Like, you know, so... It's just your plane can't turn that hard, I don't think so. Yeah, it's just something. I lost as the magenta line. I just want to make sure I'm not going back the way we came. As of as the, uh, uh, what call it, the... Uh... Am I going back the way we came now? No, 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 no. Just, just give it time. Just, uh, just I'm coming towards now, trust, waypoint US or 16. Trust, trust your instruments. There's an airfield down here somewhere. Yeah, there is an airfield. Is it's, that where we're going to? No, like I, I actually, I had it in, but I took it off. It's like, and the reason I took it off was simply uh, um, because of uh, um, the, uh, it, it's so difficult to find. I mean, seriously difficult to find. Okay. It's like, uh, um, Oh, I found it. There it is. I see it now. Is it really hard to find? Yeah, it is really hard to find. If you, ah. if you find it, land on it. Like, you know, it's like, uh, I, it's no big deal. No, it's I didn't like find I it. Just, I, I, uh, I didn't find it. I didn't find it. I'm only joking. 
I couldn't help us go and click. I just uh, Ooh, decided. Uh, um, yeah, that was. Uh, uh, maybe I have to help the uh, autopilot to get back on the magenta line here. Okay. It, it completely lost its way. Uh, as 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 has mine. I'm just following the white line now, and I hope. Mm. This is not just. I'm going up to USR 19. And then it's going to USR 20, so I presume that's I'm going the right way. Okay, great. I'm losing altitude. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Uh, oh, Danny Boy! Why didn't I get a bing bing for that? Danny Boy, super chat, uh, five pounds. Danny Boy, thank you very much uh, for the super chat. Uh, also, I Dan Solo uh, just followed. I Dan, welcome. Welcome to the madness. Let's have a look at the YouTube comments uh, whilst I'm flying. Uh, Danny Boy, thank you very much. Uh, who else have I missed there? Uh, I must pay more attention to the comments. Crashed. Uh, try again next time. Not sure if the name tags are working. Oh, Phil, you're having problems. Okay. Yeah, you've got to read those instructions. You can't just... it. Uh, that happened to me. I didn't have all the bits and pieces installed uh, for the utility. Uh, but it is darn handy. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that at some point. Do you know? Let's bring up some power again. Let's get the camera to the controls so you can see what I'm doing up here and a bit so you can see what's going on. And if I keep flying at the same time, that'd be great. Okay, we're back in a valley. I am. Uh, is there anyone else around? Yeah. Mm, the camera's pointing the wrong direction. So, current Clink, I'm right in saying you are 22, 23, 24, and so on and so forth, yes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite low now in the valleys. Let's do a bit of trimming. Let's get my power up a little bit. Let's just check out the... No. Let's fine-tune the mixture a little bit. There we go. Very nice. Oh, I'll go right down into this valley here, I think. Uh, I have got at this leg three minutes to go. Really? Oh, no. No, surely not. Surely not. Uh, Lima Foxtrot, Julia November, Kern Clink, is it? Um, it's the next one. Can't remember. To be perfectly honest. Uh, I just hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> well, we'll soon find out. Very scenic around here, and we're in now. Uh, France, am I right? <coughs> uh, I think it is France, yeah. <laughs> and the border between France and... Uh... Where's my airplane? There we go. We'll come ah, to that I can fly it now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tricky. The autopilot. Oh, very nice valley coming out into here. Let's get some eye candy, folks. There's everybody behind me. I hope I'm leading you to the right waypoint. <laughs> I'm first. I want to get that autopilot on. Let me get that autopilot on. Uh, just for heading. Autopilot on. Uh, just oh. keep me level, please. Uh, altitude. Let's switch the altitude up here, maybe. No, it's not working there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me get my altitude set here. I've got an altitude set here. I have. Good, good, good. We've got a turn to make to the right very shortly, past this hill. Uh, great, so we're going to take a left there. I'd imagine it now, let's get some zoom footage of everybody flying past. So I'm going to disconnect the camera from the aircraft. Uh, drone follow mode off. There goes, there goes me, there goes Hannessy. Uh, everyone's flying by. There's Boston going past. Davos coming up in the vertigo here. There's 
Davo. And here comes Jason. Welcome, Jason. Uh, S hash 8120. He's the C172. Cessna 172. Probably no. full blast. And there's a few behind us there as well. Let's go back to my plane and make sure I haven't crashed. Good. 2,000 feet. Uh, I don't think 2,000 feet is going to work really there, is it? No. No. I'll pot it off. I'm flying again, folks. Let's use the trim wheel here. I like the trim wheel. It's not like it's it's understated, you know, you gotta move it like the real thing pretty much. Well, they vary some some aircraft are very sensitive to him, some aren't so sensitive. But I'm not complaining at all. I like this. Uh it looks like Cos Cosmo Logi is there waiting for us. And this is the this is the last is this the last one, Colonel Click? Yeah? Yeah, we missed one totally. Was, we, we oh missed did we? Missed airfield totally, but that doesn't matter. It's like uh, I just had a crash to desktop, so I'm rebooting here. Ah, okay. So I missed one entirely. I just got mixed up with all the waypoints as well. Ah, sure. Like, no, 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 no bother. Here we go. Uh, we're coming up to it. Let me just make sure that I don't. S oh, he's behind the mountain. Okay, that's why. Ooh, no, it's dark. Oh, dear. Uh, and you had a crash to desktop. Yeah. Ah, sure. Where is this airfield? Where is this airfield, folks? The livery in this isn't the best. Look, the livery's a little bit messed up there, folks. Looking outside. Uh, where is this air? I'm right over the airfield, apparently. Yeah, okay, it's I'm like, uh, it, I guess. It's, it's not too difficult to find. Well, ish. Maybe. I don't know. There it is. There it is. Very small. Yeah, very maybe. short. Yeah. Will we have a break after this? Well, that's we decide. the. That's the final uh, airport. Yeah. We're an hour and a half into the stream. Have you got to go to work tomorrow? Well, yeah, I kind of have to. But okay. it's not. Uh, uh, we, we we still have time to do some madness somewhere else. Okay. Well, uh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to full props, please. Mixture. Uh, let's just have a look. What's my altitude here? Two thousand feet. Okay, that's not going to work. Yeah, I got to think about this one. Okay, we're on downwind. Uh, I need to slow up. Let's get the gear down. Oh, you have chosen wisely, Colonel Click. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. I think I'll have to come up this way and back down this side of this mountain. I'm 15 degrees up already, you see that? Oh, I'm in a dangerous death valley, Colonel Click. Gears coming up. You're in a death valley again. Uh, almost. No, almost. I, I literally okay. led you into this airfield. Like, you know, there, there's no problem with that now. Ooh, they could be embarrassed by the time. They could be an embarrassment before the show's over, folks. Dodgy, dangerous valley. Turn to his nose up. Okay, let's get that power in here. Let's keep, let's keep the power on. Flaps up. Gears staying up. Let's there get this we are. Straight. Yes, it is a wee bit tight. Four flaps now. It is a little bit. And it's going to so be a hard down. landing. Hard get landing. Out. Let's get this at 100 knots. First flaps. Put it down. 100 knots. Oops. I'm looking for 85 knots now. I'm going to try it at 85 knots. Flaps coming down all the way. Uh, we, we, we are on the ground. Easy. Okay. <laughs> Looks like our guy lad had a little bit of an accident. Where? Is it really that short? I can't 
Okay, just 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 to show you where I came to a stop, right? I Keep just, suffering. Bear with me now, I'm coming in. I just I just moved to the side here, right? And I point my nose where I got to a stop, okay? This could be embarrassing for Gripper Sim. Could be embarrassing. This is a micro light field if I ever seen one. Oops. Oh my god, there's trees in the way and everything, folks. Is this really an airfield? Yes it is. Oh, bounce, 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 bounce. Don't go to the trees, Gripper Sim, no! Oh, crash it, crash it. No, crash, I didn't go into the trees. I didn't go into the trees. <laughs> Let's try that again and record it. No. Uh, let us begin the recording. Okay. I'm rolling back down there. Oh! Let's, let's get the Y. Let's get the slew button here, folks. And let's try that again. So, I didn't just, record it, so I'm going to try again. I'm, I'm just pointing my nose here, right? Where my nose is, right? That's where I came to a stop. Okay. Okay. And that is, and that is your challenge. Okay, let's get this under control. Recording, uh, start to record. I've got to do so many things at once. Uh, recording has begun. Okay, so I'm just sitting here. Do so. Okay. Okay. It was a hard landing. It was bouncy, bouncy, like you know. And uh, but you know, that's where we came to the stop. It wasn't pretty, but it doesn't Seven matter. Seven knots. Four flaps. Here's Dan. Okay. 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 Ooh, I'm scared. Any knots? God, those trees are a bit of a pain. Okay. Oi! We see bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, oh nasty, nasty! Oh, oh. Did I save? Did I save the nose gear? Only the the replay will tell. Tricky on a on a twin. Yeah. Uh, tricky. Let's get the brakes on. Uh, before I show you my replay, where's the darn brake? Before I show you my replay, let's just hop out and see how everyone else is doing. Oh, look, look where, where, where the colonel is. Like, you know, that's where the colonel came to a stop. Oh. Oh, you're, you're in the 208? Yeah. Can I stop the recording? You turn here? around. I see there. I see you. I that's, see you. That's where we came to a stop. Yeah. Well, you know. I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know? <laughs> but it, did you land the other way? No, no, no. Here no, comes somebody no. now I into like the trees. Else. Oh, through the trees! Brilliant. Not did you come through? The, everyone has to come not, through the trees. Not through the That's trees. That's not allowed. Not Here through one, the Here's one that came through the trees and smishy, smashy, smash, smash, murder, death, kill John Smarten. Uh, and uh, Fovit, welcome, Fovit. I see you there. We don't uh, do we don't do through the trees. Here comes Skyhawk. Copper hat is there. Uh, someone's flying upside down over over the runway. Yeah. Uh, Skyhawk's coming down. There's someone else. The ladies don't all seem to be coming on. Oh, big crashy crash, smashy smash there for somebody. Uh, Colonel Link Clink is killing us all here. Here's a Skyhawk down on the oh TBM rose over prop strike. Uh, it ain't easy. This is probably the hardest one we've come across. You've you've found Colonel Clink. Yeah. Here comes Boston Dirt Dodge. Dirt Dog. Boston Dirt Dog. Yeah. Boston. He's from Boston. It looks it looks good. He's getting a wee bit low. He's getting a wee bit low. Burst. Come on, he, Boston Dirt Dog. Don't no, go to the trees he's now. Not clipping the trees. He's Colonel not Clinton. clipping the trees. No, Colonel Clint came to the trees. We just... Oh, and he's got the same... Oh! Reason. oh bounce, but he's bounce, saved. But he's saved the day. Saved the nose he's gear, though. And he's done well. Yeah. He's done well. He saved the nose gear, I'd imagine. Devil, Here comes Dead Picks. Devil went straight for Danny the Boy. Team. Danny Boy is coming behind Dead Picks now. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, see what that picks does. I think my choice of aircraft was poor for this one, folks. Dead picks coming in. And Daddy Boy behind him with yeah. a DA 62. Murder that killed John Spartan. That was Captain Mahoin. Mahoy. Oh, oh, very nice. Hard, hard landing, hard. but you know. Oh, oh, he's oh. got it for trees. Dead picks oh. is the trees. 
Uh, death, oh, murder, kill for death, that pigs. Death, Here death, comes Danny Boy. Danny, Danny Boy has a DA62. Danny Boy is through the trees. trees. I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't like that. And he's uh, going uh, off he's, the is runway. Is he going to stop? Is he going to stop? Is he going to hit the trees or is he going to uh, stop? He stopped he's in gonna time. Stop. He's going to stop. Danny yeah. Boy has done well. Uh, he's used the force the correct so, way. Ush Ushuyaki. Ushuyaki is on approach in uh, TBM. And Ushiyaki, it's yes, I always, it's I, always call him, I always call him Yuma, so Ushiyaki. Ushiyaki would probably be more so accurate. He's coming in, he's going in with a TBM. He's he looking is. good. And Danny F, 73, may pass him out. Uh, Ushiyaki, don't hit the trees uh, now, I'm watching you. And oh, big like, smishy oh, smash smash. Uh, is it coming uh, to a stop? Is it coming to a stop? And no, he does it. Into the trees, murder, death, kill, well down, dance. Oh no, Ushiyaki did it, yes. Make a fly in a DA62. Here can see a fly. He's on final. And Solo Cubby is coming short behind tree him. Oh! Into the stalled trees at the last minute. Stalled at the last minute. It happens, folks. Don't go too yeah. slow. Uh, Killer uh, Hansi is coming in in the it's vertigo. Like he is uh, Solo uh, falling up, falling the down. Vertigo, the vertigo is very uh, good, Colonel Clink, for that. Oh. Oh, Killer. Okay, he's coming out of the trees. So no. Davo, Davo Killer. is coming oh, oh, again. Oh, he's not in the vertigo. Uh, nice one, though. Raptor, nice one, vertigo. Raptor Look, X. bit of a prop strike, but that's, you know. Raptor X. Greetings, Raptor X. Come on in. And he, he did it. Well done. He did. Well he done. Did do so Falcon comes in, and I don't know what he's flying. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He's that coming in. See, I can see Davo's giving it another go on the vertigo. Johnny F is going out for another try on the TBM. Uh, Fallen up is now slewing into position. Yeah, so um, yeah, Falcon is coming in. Falcon, like, oh, he's 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 stalling. Where is uh, stalling. Falcon? And, I can't see oh, Falcon. he just made it. He just made it. I can't see uh, Falcon control. Fantastic. Here comes Davo. Oh, he just Davo he in just the vertigo. Put it on the ground. Why can't I see the vertigo? Johnny F is coming in. Oof. Johnny F is coming in with uh, TBM again. Reverse thrust on. Boston uh, Elf in a TBM. Very nice, Davo. Digital Elf is coming in with a TBM and he, I can see crashed, he disappeared from me. Boston Elf Boston is, Elf going, is going, around. going around the best Bake. decision we've seen all day. Yeah, you know, the first score end I've seen. DA62, he's slowing back in position. Johnny F is on approach, final shot, final in a TBM. Hello, Captain. Uh, Captain May Mayhoney, welcome. Uh, let me pay attention there, Colonel Clink, to some of the people who've just followed Captain oh, okay. uh, Mahe. Uh, Vampiric Vapor. Oh, very nice. Just followed there. there. Uh, say, welcome, sorry. everybody, to the Madness Solo Club. Don't forget. Oh, there's another big bing bing. Another bing bing bang. Robert, Robert Tynes has resubscribed tier one for two months in a row. Thank you very much, Robert Tynes. Welcome. Welcome. We're just examining everyone's landing. Oh, into the trees, fallen up. Uh, into the trees. Yeah, but it was a landing nevertheless. But look, we got another new people with us. You no, know, it's tough. This is hard. La when you start flight sim at first, it's this is really hard for you. So don't no. worry if you crash, folks. I crashed. Uh, just, just, just to give you an idea, like, and you know, if nobody looked at the uh, flight plan, it doesn't matter, right? Now this strip, this grass strip, is only just over 700 feet long. So that is about what 240 meters. Yep. Right, so uh, uh, it is tough. 2.28 feet. Like, from here I, comes ARH CDN 64, and he's, is he going around? And we're going to go Very around. clever. Can he, he go around? But can he? Can he? Can he go around? Full power in the SR22. And he's pitching up, and he's got that Death Valley. Uh, uh, no, he's stalled, stalled into the trees and murder death kill. Yeah, sorry, ARH 64. Uh, learning lessons there, folks. There's no go around there. No. Uh, there is a point where you're committed. Yeah. This airfield. Here comes Boston Elf. The TBM9, which is going to be tough for everyone. This is like not easy. No. I mean, I'm sure my undercarriage is smashed. We'll have a look at the replay. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's smashed. Up. I mean, there's 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 grass everywhere. Like you know, it's like and gravel oh, and oh, you know. Oh, oh. You go, have go into that trace. Into the trace. Oh, smashy uh, smash. No, yeah, save. No, he's making. Is, <coughs> is, he, is he getting Good to point. a stop? Is he getting to a stop, Boston Elf? Uh, oh, see. he does. He does. Well done. Very well done. There's Rolf Kopteretza. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do, Karen Clink. We're going to have a look at my one. Yeah. Because it's not easy, and I think I crashed no, as well. No, it's not. Uh, so I'm going to replay. Because, uh, uh, and I just go. For, I just pause it. Let me reset my camera here. 
Okay, if I activate the screen, it will be a little bit easier. Reset cam. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's just go forward a little bit. Resume replay. Okay, so it's very... It's, it's not even an airfield. Let's declutter. It's not even an airfield, folks. Look at that. It's the side of a hill. Now, you'll never make it in real life in one of these aircraft. Anyway. No, not really. Now, did I clip the trees? Let's have a look here. Did I clip the trees? Uh, I may have. Oh! I oh, well, the, the, the left wing. Oh, no. That was a crash. That was a crashy crash. That was definitely a crashy crash crash. Yeah, no doubt about it. I'm, I'm saddened. Uh, I have to make it in, though. I have to think of something. Resuming the replay there. So, it did kind of go into the trees. I might have clipped the wing, but there, the left wing, smash, smash, smash. That would have broken up. Uh, and, you know, the left side of the airplane is gone. Uh, but I saved the nose wheel. So there you go. <laughs> there you go, folks. Uh, well, current clink, will we take a quick break? To let people go to the loo yep. for five minutes, shall we? No uh, and we think of where to go next. Is is there anywhere while we're having a break? Think is there anywhere else that we could take off from here and fly to? Uh, yes. So we're yes. going to take off from here, folks. The airfield, the airfield which we missed, right? So from here. What's the IKO identifier for it? That my would pen. be um, Lima Foxtrot India Papa. Okay, let me just write that down. Because... No, that's where we are. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Okay, that's um, okay. No, hang on a second. So we're flying from Alfred, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah no, we, we're flying to Lima Foxtrot India Papa. Okay, Lima Foxtrot India, India Papa, folks. So yeah. before we take a break, so you can all get settled in. So the next airfield, next airfield is Lima Foxtrot India Papa. I'm going to put that in the chats for those of you who are following us. I heard the bing bing. Bear with one. One must bear with one. Uh, thank you very much there, Boston Elf, for putting that in. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much for helping out. I really appreciate that. That's great. Uh, experimental sim avionics. Got it finally. Great. I'll come back to the chat then when we come back. So, folks, we're going to take a quick cup of... You might want a cup of tea or a toilet break. And we'll be back in exactly... In exactly five minutes. And this is how long this, this little entertaining intermission goes. We'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> And now, let's enjoy an intermission. We hope you filled your snack bar full of tasty treats to eat and drink. Perhaps a tempty tasting hotting dog, or a thirst quenching sugar drink. Some fresh crunching popping corn perhaps, or an assortment of sugar coated sweetness, even enjoying a sickness stick. We've plenty of time, so visit your snack bar now. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Barker enjoying and gorging on the lovely treats with their lovely children. You could be doing this too, you still have time. And for those of you tea lovers, let's have a look at some tea making tips. Yes, the most important tea making tip, of course, when you have time, is to use the right mug. Yes, the right tea mug is always the right way. Look for the Gripper Sim tea mug. Yes, it makes your tea taste 20% better. Now, don't worry, you still have plenty of time to make your cup of tea. Mrs. Ainsley Cretra, what do you think of drinking a cup of tea from the Gripper Sim mug as opposed to the normal mug? Lovely. It's not everyone who can make a good cup of tea. Splendid, Mrs. Ainsley Crabtree. Now, here are the ladies discussing the six points of making a good cup of tea, and of course, the Gripsin mug will be included. Which number will it be? Can I remember them? 
Of course you can. Try now. All right, here goes. Number one. Mama, see the grippers in Always mark. use a good quality tea. No, yes, of course. Good. Number two. Always use freshly drawn water, right? No, I'm number three. Number three. Remember to warm the teapot or urn. Everyone knows that one. And number four. Measure the right quantity of tea Butter. for the amount of water in the pot. Very good. Number five. The water must reach boiling point. Pot to the kettle, not kettle to the pot. And the last rule, number six. Here we go. Let the tea brew for five to ten Damn minutes. Damn your eyes, woman. Damn. <laughs> Where does it all start? Sometimes here, with an acid stomach, or here, with tense, upset digestive nerves. It may even reach here, with that fuzzy, achy feeling in the head. Are you suffering from intermission anxiety? It's the acid tension trouble triangle you are suffering from. Yes, now there's a new anti-intermission liquid, Peptis Liquid Elixir. It will break that bothersome intermission trouble triangle. It is fast acting liquid, has no need to wait for it to dissolve as it's in liquid form. With unknown ingredients, it will settle acid in your stomach and those nasty intermission blues. Side effect of peptides may include constipation, skin rash or dermatitis, diarrhea, dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, severe migraines, insomnia, suicidal thoughts, abnormal heart rhythms, internal bleeding, cancer, loss of sexual appendages, funny walk syndrome, loss of hair, reddening of the hair, big red nose syndrome, whitening of the skin, unusual voice patterns, childish behaviours, a propensity to blow up balloons. Death. Break that intermission trouble triangle with Peptas. Yes, Peptas available somewhere. Just a minute, folks. Yes, that's all it takes to visit our refreshment counter in the lobby. There you'll find popcorn and an assortment of popular candy bars to please every taste. Try one of these delicious candy bars. Big time. Ingredients include chemicals derived from petroleum. Butternut. Preservatives including sodium benzoate and sulfur dioxide. No nuts included. Milkshake. Including wood pulp and duck feathers as fillers. Payday. Including propylene glycol, carcinogenic flavorings, including trace elements of starch, strychnine, and Topped lead. with Hollywood's super rich coating of the kind you like best. They taste wonderful. They're delicious. They're nutritious. Get one at our confection counter in the lobby now. Now. word from our esteemed producer. <coughs> Such kind words. And now back to our normally scheduled programming. <coughs> A little bit late in the mouse there, folks. Now, we're back. So, just give you a view of where we are, okay? Now, we're on the ground here, and there's the airfield there. So, it's quite steep. Like, wow. So, I positioned my aircraft way to the beginning of the runway. Uh, now, I'm going to let you all take off first. Okay? I'm going to let everyone else take off first. Uh, I don't know if they're watching the stream as well. So, uh first one to go uh, it looks like is uh, the yeah off you go goes guys we're gonna see if you make it off you go I'll be back. are they waiting for me I'll be trying to take off yeah oh no first of all sorry don't take off yet see I want to show you something folks right uh, if you're using the garments now I have been played with this for a while I want to put in mark our position uh, I'm gonna hit the direct button right and we are going to we are going to uh, Lima. So it's this button over here I want to activate the cursor. Is it this one? Oh no, it's the FMS button here. Let me get rid of the joystick here. Uh, so I should have done this maybe in the break. Yeah, so I'm looking for Lima. Uh, Foxtrot, so I've got to move the cursor. It's a bit fiddly. Foxtrot. Uh, next is, I was hoping it would actually show up there, India. India. Uh, and Papa. No, I'm moving the cursor. You, you, you're not 
know a wee little trick for for oh, if you nearest. if you if you're trying to do this on this with the fiddly buttons. Oh, I've gone past it now. I keep going. So go ahead. If you type it in, once you have it selected, if you type it onto the keyboard, right? If you have a keyboard attached to your computer, it will just type in Nima Fox India Pub. What's that? Say that again? Use your keyboard and type yeah. in Lima Foxtrot in your papa. How how do I do that? On your keyboard. Just you know, it, the buttons on your keyboard. Oh look at this! It does! Oh wow! So can you see that folks? I'm on the keyboard here and, and you don't need to press thank you, Colonel Clink. That is very, very handy. Yeah, it's like it's bloody it. annoying fiddling around with the little knob. Okay, so all you do, so let me go back out here, right? Because I'd say a lot of people don't know this either, because I didn't. So I'll come out, uh, get rid of the direct button, so direct, and then it's flashing, so I just type it in straight from the keyboard. Yeah. I did not know this. Lima, Foxtrot. Lima, Foxtrot, Screens India, in Papa. No, it's doing something else now. Uh, I think you've hit the MS button first to get the cursor active yeah so do that no it's turning on the lights now well no it's now it's working you have to get you to put your mouse on the on the cursor so there you go okay thank you that's that's brilliant I'm getting error messages now with current link with the uh, with the stream quality and then enter twice and there we go so uh, brilliant uh, I'm getting three warnings with the three warnings with the uh, skipped frames two minutes ago. Okay, that's very displeasing. That's gone now. Okay, right, folks, let's go. That's something we learned today, current click. Well, I did anyway. Uh, and let's go. Let's rock and roll, folks. Uh, brakes, park and break off. Oh, it's rolling anyway. I, the brakes aren't good enough. Okay, <laughs> full power. Full power. Full power. Eight, right, full power until it doesn't do anything anymore. Set 20 degrees flaps. I mesh. And then just brakes loose and pull backwards. Okay, and she up. eventually will just climb. I'm going to follow the uh, stunning. See, I just don't have the, the lift of the wings to follow uh, Cosmo. Logi is in the JU-52, so I just thought I'd follow him. So that works great, Colonel Clink. I know. That I did not know that. So you actually have to, even with your mouse, click, click the cursor. Uh, and all my instruments are very dull now, for some reason. Yeah, I don't like the Beach Baron. It's a little bit buggy, folks, I think. Beach Baron, you know. Saddens me a little bit. So we're off to our final destination, folks. Uh, yes. So uh, am I pleased with the Bravo? Well, obviously, yes, if you saw the video. Uh, there are newer ones. The great news is Thrustmaster came up with one I saw briefly. Looks okay. It looks a bit, I don't know. Uh, but these companies that I currently think are starting to, I think more and more people are flight simming now. Uh, so companies are doing their research and they're actually making these control columns for us. Do you know? There must be a market for them. Do you think? Yeah, uh, hopefully. So that's great because it's been, you know, I bought the, the yoke of the yoke, which is really good, but that's for commercial flight simulators and it's 1200 quid, 1200 euros. I think I spent on it, including delivery. Uh, I'm very pleased with it, but at the time, if I did have something mid-level, I would have bought that. Certainly. Uh, as you can see, I'm barely, you know, when you're flying an airplane, you can see my just one hand here. Just one hand. That's all you need. Now, we, uh, mm, I want to turn up, I can't see the, are they on or off? Up oh, should be on. It's like you want to fly with two fingers, really. Exactly. 
like you know, not 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 the way you know. When and you can see, yeah, you can see up here. When you get a vice grip on the yoke. You don't want to be like that. You can always tell if someone's not a pilot, they're flying like this with the two hands, folks. See that? So you're always like that. Now, landing in bumpy weather, you might go, oh, gee, you know. But, you know. Okay, I'm going direct. I've got to go over these hills. Yeah. Uh, I've got some power left. Now, if you, have to, if you have to get over the hills, you probably have to uh, go up to... Um, 10,000 feet or so. Okay. Robert Times is asking, uh, wanted to ask the last time, but I forgot, do you use the rudder and aileron trim? No, not at all, actually. Um, now, the only really we I have in the real world when we're practicing engine failures, uh, you know, you've got one engine. Uh, now, I have no camera for my, my feet, but You've got to put a, let's say, if you've got a, a, an engine failure, you'll have to put a lot of pressure on one rudder pedal for an extended period of time, which is tough on your legs. It's quite a lot of strength you need to keep that there for quite some time. So I'd use the rudder trim for that, sure. But then, of course, when you come into land and you pull the power back of the live engine, it's going to get messy, so you've got to undo the trim. But at the simulator, I've never found myself having to use aileron or rudder trim at all. Good not to crash, but presume I need about 10 degrees pitch to get over here. So, not really on the sim. Um, I've never used aileron, I've never had an aircraft with alien aileron trip. I've never flown one. Well, we are direct as tough. Yep. Well, direct as tough, folks. So, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing here now at the moment in the 208 at about 92 knots at 9 to 10 degrees and uh, yeah I'm making it mm. now the the only thing what you have to do as you're climbing along at the 208 it's like you have to continuously pressure the prop for performance to not go below 2000 uh, uh, rpm yeah. Oh, really? Okay, I'm okay. Well, yeah, I'm, not really, I'm not really paying a lot of attention to them, but... Well, as you, as, as you climb, the air gets getting thinner, so your uh, prop, if you have it forward, is just an uh, air brake. So yeah. you just feather it out, otherwise you don't get anything out of it. Exactly. So, and I'm climbing here at 1,000, well, actually 600, 650 feet per minute. I got 800 yam bombing along here. Let's get the autopilot on so I can have a look at the comments. Uh, altitude to see. Altitude, I want it set. See, I want it set. So we're going to 9,000 feet. There we go. Altitude autopilot on. And I can do the vertical speed. I'll put that up to 500 feet a minute. And not on heading on nav, please. Nav. 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 Ah, uh, yes, gonna take a right turn now. Uh, now we can go to the cam. Reset the camera. Uh, why is the gear dead? Because you forgot I, to put it up. I pressed G, I didn't use the lever. Uh, I pressed the G key, obviously not properly. Now we're descending. What have I done wrong here? Vertical. Oh, because I came out again. I came. Oh, did you? Here we go. Mm, better crash into the mountains, folks. Not minus a thousand. Oh, my God. <laughs> Autopilots are dangerous. Well, if you don't know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing, but I'm just... You have all this stuff 
set before you take off. But high altitude flying is tricky. You can't be messing about. You got to climb stuff. You got to plan it. You know. So. I know. In all, in all fairness, you don't really have to climb in that short amount of time. Like you know. No, you would never plan it like that. Uh, altitude set, and it's climbing up. And we're at our altitude. Fine. So I'll be flying okay, by the pop observatory out. again. If anybody wants to have a last look at it. Yes, it's good to showcase for you, which will, of course, no doubt mess up my autopilot. Yeah, so in a real airplane, of course, you're not going to have your, you know, every time you hop out of the airplane to look at it, it's not going to disengage everything on you. Okay, that's all good. Gears up. Great news. Don't use the G button again, but pursue. You've got two nice levers for the gear. Falling up as a head, Boston Elf. Uh, Boston Dirty Dog is with this as well. Lots of people from Boston. From Boston? Yeah, it's coming into that time of day now when people come on fights in Boston. There's Killer Hennessy there, there's Icarus there. The DYP uh, 1397, welcome. Sling 380, welcome. Uh, Ma, 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 H O N, uppercase Y, welcome. And Baker, I'm just looking for new people. Maxwell, greetings and welcome to you as well. Now, let's see those things I missed there. Uh, let's just go over the. Oh, now I'm okay. I feel a bit better now. We're out of there. We're looking down now. So, uh, Sergeant Staff, one, two, three, welcome. Sergeant Staff uh, has followed. Robert Times resubscribed there for tier one. Uh, Vampiric Vapor followed there as well. Captain uh, M A H O N Y also followed. Uh, Troy Foster from YouTube followed. Uh, I Dance Solo followed. Danny Boy uh, super chatted five pounds. Danny Boy, thank you very much for that. Uh, D Danny Boy now is, is well, well uh, up there. Uh, T I C I B A Gaming followed. Goof. From Manatee, I think it is. Uh, three Ellie followed. Two cats. Oh, two cats fall raided us with a party of 30, 43, Colonel Clink. Oh, wow. How did I miss that? I don't know. Two cats, thank you very much. I'm just going to look and see, uh, see. Two cats, forgive me. Forgive my impertinence. I did, I, how did I miss that? Because the, the, the volume of the bing bong isn't loud enough. Uh, the sting. Social, social media sting. Where is the? There we go. It's up, now it's up as loud as you can go. So yeah, two cats. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody. <laughs> uh, Cartel followed as well. Uh, Dan Summers followed. Uh, Dan and Speed seven five two. I think it's just Butter TX followed. Martin Moran uh, or Mohan. Uh, the Coyote, Silent Coyote, Malware. Uh, Malware, it's tricky. Ma Mal John Wales. Resubscribed to Prime 1 for 11 months in Prime. Thank you very much. And the Bean subscribed as well. Emma Rose, greetings, Emma. Uh, that was 12 hours ago. Uh, I don't know if you're with us now, uh, Emma Rose, but you're welcome. So there you go, folks. Uh, great excitement. Uh, let me see where I am now. With regards to now, my screens on my garments have gone very dull. So, where is the what have I done with that? Is that all? Let me press that now. Footlights. Oh, 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 we've gone off autopilot again. Autopilot has gone crazy. I've got over the airfield, Colonel Craig. That's why. Ah. <laughs> I'm directly overhead the airfield. Because I was busy chit-chatting. You missed the airfield? Well, I'm just high. I'm right overhead. But I just went past just a little bit. So we're going to slow this aircraft down a little bit. Uh, I know the mixers weren't set there. but uh, We'll put our eyes in the airfield. No. It's, it's only one way in, really, when you think of it. Oh, very nice, Colonel Clink. This is like, this is like, um, what do you call it? Kershaw really sure. steroids. Kers Kershaw, yeah. This is like Kershaw. Very nice. 
uh, I need to write these down. And have to, I, I'd like to do a video of uh, dangerous airports you didn't know about. Uh, how do you find these? I don't you know? know. I just do. You, I must. Uh, I, I've got to write something down here. I'm going to write this one down because you found a few, and I'm going to write a list and I'll do a video of all the crazy dangerous airports you didn't know about. Because uh, apparently you know how to find them. That's for sure. Uh, probably over speeding. I wish I could see the screen now. It's very annoying. There's a knob for that somewhere. So now the brightness. airfield, the airfield is about five thousand odd feet high, by depending which part of it. And uh, it's like, uh, you know, if you do a nice, easy approach on it, like an RSA, it's it's actually relatively easy. I'm starting the record. Record this landing. Uh, I gotta try and butter this one. Okay, we're getting our speed up. Add a bit of power, I don't want to go too slow. First stage of flaps is coming down. Autopilot goes off, power comes off, prop goes fully forward. Off here, I don't want to go too low. Okay. The last landing of the show, folks. Uh, Marvin Biggins, welcome, he's coming in. Uh, Papa, I saw Papa there. Maxwell's coming in as well. Maxwell's in the TBM9. Raptor X is up there as well. And I'm turning for my base. Can't see. So. Five degrees, folks. Colonel is on fire. All our stuff hanging out. If you're, you know, having difficulty when you're learning Microsoft Flight Simulator to fly, give yourself a long approach. Give yourself plenty of time. Loads of time. You know, go miles out. Oh, and um, if you if you happen to be over the airfield, remember where the airfield is. Fly away from the airfield and come back. Exactly. Decluttering. Okay, I'm gonna butter this okay. one, folks. Okay, I'm 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 gonna stop. I'm gonna stop where I stop, right? And that is your benchmark. Okay. Don't be too fast. Get that speed down. Feet on pedals. Can't see the speed. No, 90 knots. There we go. Oh, 90 knots. Or maybe 85. It seems okay. to respond at about 85. There's knots, your benchmark. Probably. Okay, well, we'll, 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 okay, so there's no trees in front of it this time, thankfully, folks. No, 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 Let's no, no trees, just me. Lined up. Or the plane tries to tempt me. Yeah, I, uh, you know. I mean, this folks. one, this one is easy. It's very steep. I can't see it all now. Oh, 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 come down a little bit. Come down a little bit. There we go. There we go, easy, Ripper Sim. And the center line. That's very disappointing, Ripper Sim. Well, I don't have a reverse very, thrust. Very disappointing. I can taxi up the hill. We made it. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. This is a great little airfield. I'm going to write this down, so. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, a taxi off. Another big bit to go. The taxiing is almost as hard as. Oh, 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 don't go. No, no, turn, turn. Why don't you turn, airplane? It won't turn. Damn it all to hell, folks. Oh, I can't get back up. <laughs> There's a little building here, a nice kind of wooden building. My rudder pedals, yeah, the, the bar needs some work, I think, folks. Do you know? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put only the power on the right engine. So fling it over to the left. The traffic has gone nuts. They're obviously coming in to watch us all to land. There we go. And that'll do. I'll pack it up here. I can see the comments flying along. Action, uh, action, welcome. Action, bonus on. Welcome. Park and break on. Uh, am I too late to watch everyone else come in? Uh, okay, so, park and break. Good, good, good. Hop out. Let's see if everyone else, if I missed everybody else coming in. No, not quite. Not quite. There's more coming in. 
Uh, I won't put the tags on because I don't want to embarrass people. Here comes someone here now. Uh, there's Boston. I'll take the tags off because it's not fair. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, here comes someone else here. Here's someone on final. I don't know if you want to see yourselves with the tags if you crash. I'm sure not. Look, I'm not embarrassed. You shouldn't be. Uh, here we go. It is only a flight simulator after all. Very nice. Who's that? That is Sunny Wolf. Sunny Wolf. Nice one. I'm too close to see the tags. Uh, see. Followed comes by another one. DYP1397. Very nice as well. Very nice. DYP. Very nice. Uh, here comes Max. Uh, Maxwell and someone ahead of him there. Uh, here comes the uh, Junkers now. Yeah, that is... Uh, I'm not getting um, a label for him. Like, let's see how he's doing. And if he's doing good, I tell you it is. Oh, it doesn't look good from here. I think he might be going No, it, he? it's... Oh, oh, it, it oh he's got a pop blast. Oh, oh! Oh, no. Good this attempt. Time. You get it, though. It's a tough one because it's he's yeah. coming into uphill, you know. Uh, there's a nice one on the... Yeah. Uh, looks like a twin. Like yeah, twin. I can't Johnny see F. exactly yet. Johnny here F comes a nice. A, yeah, here comes a Cirrus. Following very by nice. AIH 64. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, it stopped the recording. And we'll have a look so, at my landing before we go. There is another uh, approach and you can there. Mark it out it's coming in. YouTube. And depending uh, on how he's doing, we tell you who it is. Poor bosses. You said he crashed, but that's okay. You're going to crash loads of times before you do a good landing. Here comes Raptor X uh, coming in. Uh, yeah. And Boobin. Boobin SPN. Welcome, Boobin. Or Booba. Here comes Raptor X. Don't touch down on the grass before. And he just got over very nicely. Oh, very nice. Stuff done, in the reverse X. thrust there. And look yeah. at Oh, very nice. Nicely done. Um, nice followed indeed. by. Yeah, okay, okay, nice. No, go. And there's another. Oh, here comes the JU. Nice here comes the JU coming in again. Here comes 22. the JU. Here comes the JU coming in. Very nicely, by the way, this time. The Look, JU Copperhead. Her. Copperhead did a well really done, nice Copperhead. landing of the JU, followed by Cosmology, also in Cosmology. a uh, oh, Yunkers, in a to you. Yes, I want to stream more of the Yonkers during the week. I want to go back to the Airbus as well, yeah. don't forget. I didn't stream last so week at all during the week. So that was very nicely done by the it's... Yunkers pilots. Okay, let us have a look at my landing. Shame on me. Uh, let's replay. Let's get the... Reset cam here. Uh, Gripper oh. Sim is coming in over the hills. He's oh, oh, diving oh, down oh, into the valley. He's disappeared from the radar. Folks. Where am I? It's like the radar okay. can't pick him up. we we'll probably see him in the last minute. Showcase view. I know I'm going to have to go forward a little bit because <laughs> it's a big long circuit. So I'm going to pause it and go forward. Okay, now I can resume the replay, folks. Now, uh, on YouTube, right, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm going to do that thing again. So I'm going to create a poll. What do you think of my landing? Uh, there is um, you... Ushiaki in a TBM, and he did very nice. Does it come to a stop? Yes, he does. Hard on the brakes and full Mark reverse. Very well done. A dash okay. <laughs> this is so good work. I don't put any points. Uh, not oh, she, oh, she bad. in a vertigo. Like, very um, nicely done. A bit bad. <laughs> a bit bad, they're saying. I'll give you the results now on uh, on Twitch, okay? Awful. Terrible. Bad. Bad as hell. Uh, so, the options on YouTube, okay? Or uh, mark my landing. It says it says a okay, not bad, a bit bad, bad as hell. There you go. So don't mark it now because you haven't seen me land yet. So we're off. Resuming the replay. Now I've got to adjust the camera so it looks good from an angle. Decluttering. Oh, declutter. Okay, coming in. I got flaps down, gears down. It looks okay. Oh. That. I think this angle's better from here. Okay, so it looks okay, but look at the hill. I've got to go up the hill. So you're going to kind of pitch up as you land. You've got to climb as you land, which is interesting, to say the least. Uh, am I going to clear? The oh, God, I'm looking like, looks like oh. I'm getting a bit low, though. Yes, Gripper's in coming in. The Can radar picked him up no. again. He's okay. on the last. Oh. Is he? Okay, okay. Is he just over the grass? Ooh. Oh. 
and oh, very oh. Uh, move it to the side, not didn't on the center line. He's coming but, back. But I went back to the center line. Not so you know, back. it was it was the worst ever, I suppose. No, no, Could have no. been better with a better practice. So what's your marks, folks? Oh, oh, I didn't get the bing bong. Uh, Antone, Antone. Uh, thank you very much, Antone. Let me just scroll up here because I'm listening. Antone, I I praise you. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Is it super, super, super chat? Super sticker. Super chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Antone obviously is following as well. Boston Elf crashed. That's okay, Boston Elf. Imperfection. See a nice night. Uh, full moon parties with us as well. Travis, welcome. Uh, full moon party video. Welcome. Uh, hey, Gripper. Just stop by to leave a like. Oh, that's for uh, Vruden the Great. Vruden, welcome. Boston and Elf, uh, Full Moon Parties with us as well. And Ian Pollard, as always. Uh, thank you very much for the super chats. That's just fantastic on YouTube. Uh, on Twitch, uh, thank you all as well. Uh, there's this Anton super chat. Thank you very much, Anton. Uh, I pronounced that correctly, I think. Uh, so there you go, folks. I did mean to stream randomly last week. Uh, but I just, I was so busy with stuff in the house here and it's been nine months since I moved here now. And things still are to be done. Just things. Uh, and I'm not very good at physical labour. Yes, but I do it. You know, it doesn't mean I won't do it. But, you know, painting and plumbing and stuff like that. So well done, everybody. And remember, if you're new to flight simming and you're watching this and you don't want to join because you think you'll crash and make food oh. out of yourself, you won't. Kudos. Because we're all learning here. Kudos, kudos to Johnny F, like I have to say, like, you know, he did probably in the Savage Cup now the shortest landing there on this field. Yeah, he, I remember next uh, time, guys, choose your aircraft wisely. Fantastic. I did not choose wisely this week. No. Did I, can think? No, I chose poorly. So I had a, a difficult time of it. That's a fantastic choice, once again, Karen Clink, of your runways, of your flight plans, should I say. I uh, hope, I uh, hope you thank folks you. enjoyed it. Thank you very much and everybody thank you for all your super chats thank you for your subscriptions on twitch thank you for your memberships on youtube it's very much appreciated it keeps these it keeps youtubers going and all that kind of stuff tv is over you know that long now folks and uh, currently we had this discussion already <laughs> yeah i think tv's had its day you know uh mostly uh i watch a lot of this kind of stuff as well uh, as you guys do and i hope uh, you have a great week i hope you have a great week next week uh, we're coming to Christmas. Well, it's actually, it's Halloween first, isn't it? Yeah. We, it's we, we have it. No in Christmas. Our... No Christmas songs before Halloween. In now, it's so bad now, right? That in our, it used to be Halloween, and all the shops had Halloween stuff, and then all of a sudden it was Christmas, right? Yeah. And they got closer and closer. Now you have both. You've got we've got Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff at the same time in the supermarkets. Yeah. I, I I was I had to go I had to go to the shop today, like you know, just food shopping, like you know, and it's like. I found Christmas John you know, it's way too early for Christmas John, like you know. It's like after Halloween, folks. After Halloween. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> I tried to get the camera so buttons can say goodbye. Here. Producer. I think the producer's fast asleep, folks. So the producer says thank you to everybody. <laughs> 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 it's a producer sleep. He didn't go too crazy. I think. Oh, there was a little bit of a mess going on behind me here. All right. Oh, oh, right. There is a bit of a mess. Uh, I don't know if you saw that or not. But uh, folks, thank you very much for following us once again. Uh, I will. I, I will try and stream randomly this week again. Just last week cut me off. Uh, Sundays, twenty one hundred hours as always. Uh, twenty one hundred hours local Irish UK time. The crazy madness. And I guess that's it, Colonel Clank. Yeah, I suppose so. I think that's it for tonight. So folks, have a good week. And I'll see you next Sunday, if not during the week. I try and stream during the week at the Airbus. As you know, I try to learn the Airbus. And thank you all so much. I'm looking for the outro button again. Uh, and uh, yes, thank you for the producer as well. <laughs> so, Colonel Hink, thanks a million for the great flight plan. Thank you very much. And I see you next week, folks. And everyone have a great week. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>